is again going back to our other property of equality, we, our property of radicals that we use, Brendan. And what that property is, if you guys remember, when we had the radical of n to the x times y equals n to the x times n to the y, the other thing we talked about was, well, if I have n, um, n to the x over y, I can break that off into the nth root of x over the nth root of y, correct? And the same thing works, guys, in the other way. If I have the nth root of x over the nth root of y, I can rewrite that as the nth root of x over y. Okay? So when you're dividing, again, these steps work. The first thing you want to do is simplify. So what I could do here is let's go ahead and rewrite this. Instead of as a radic radical on top and a radical on the bottom, because I really can't simplify, I could simplify this one up top. But what I'm going to do is just simplify my, I'm going to rewrite this as 1. Actually, you know what? Let's, um, let's simplify each one of these. 243 is not a quartic number. But is there a number, um, is there a number that divides into 243? Well, let's check. 243 divided by 81 is 3. So what I'll do, actually, I didn't look at it like that. Well, you could simplify it as, I'm going to show you guys a different way. I'm going to show you two different ways. Um, you could simplify this as that would be 81 times what, 3? So that would be 81 and 81k times the fourth root of 3k over the fourth root of 3k. And then those would divide out. Or what I also wanted to teach, I want to teach is you guys could write this as 243k to the fifth over 3k. Now does 3 divide into 243? Again, if you use, go back and look at your calculator, you guys could see that, yes, it does. It goes in there 81 times, right? And does k divide into k to the fifth? k to the fifth divided by k is equal to k to the fifth minus 1, which is k to the right. I don't know, misspoke, right? Um, oh, something's wrong here. Oh, I didn't do that. I should have taken the fourth root of 81, which is going to be 3. Not done. That should have been an that answer was done. If you did it that way. Yes. I'm sorry. OK. So in this case, the fourth root of 81, we want to say, can we write 81 as a power of 3? And the fourth root, 81, can be. It's 3 to the fourth power. And then we have k to the fourth power. So the fourth root of 3 to the fourth power is 3. The fourth root of k to the fourth power is k. Either way, you guys could have done it. You could have simplified it in numerator and denominator and then divided them. Or you could have put them under the same radical and divided them. Yes? What are the three opposite values? Fourth roots. Uh, yes, I, I believe in the directions, though. Oh, on your homework, they, they say just to assume everything's positive. Okay. But yes, yes, you're absolutely correct. They, they say in the direction.